Today we're in the beautiful spa town of Cheltenham on a building site to show you guys what's possible with an Artec plasma cutter. The plan today is to remove all of this high beam steel ready for the demo team to come in, smash the lotter, ready for four new homes. Now, as you can see, the steel that we're cutting today is ridiculously thick, so no way in hell we'll be using one of these. Today's weapon of choice is the Artec P101D plasma cutter. With its 100 amps of pure cutting power, we should have this steel cut up in no time at all. We got the machine fired up and got on with chopping up these huge pieces of steel into much smaller, more manageable pieces. Now, if you've never seen a plasma cutter in action before, it might look like absolute witchcraft. And don't get me wrong, every time I see a plasma cutter cutting up material, I am still amazed at how this even works, but it is just science. Plasma cutters use DC voltage to heat compressed air from an air compressor to a very high temperature, where it ionizes the atoms and creates a plasma arc. This flows through the narrow hole of the cutting tip at a temperature of about 25,000 to 30,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The small jet of plasma pushes through and melts the metal and pushes the molten metal away. This is what causes the plasma cutter to cut through the material. Now as we're using our P101D plasma cutter, which can cut up to 40mm, we could easily just cut this steel up into larger pieces in single runs and call it a day. However, once we're done here with cutting it all up, the demo team has the job of getting it all back down. So to make their job as easy as possible, we opted to take our time, cut the tops off and then cut the bottom pieces into smaller parts because, you know, we're nice like that. There certainly is an art to using a plasma cutter and there are a few things that you really need to nail down to get clean and precise cuts, such as travel speed, torch angles, correct air pressure and amperage control. But once you really get into the rhythm of it, you soon realise just how easy it is to use a plasma cutter, especially when compared to things like gas cutting and disc cutters. We could go on and on talking about how efficient a plasma cutter is and how much time you're going to save, but the results really speak for themselves. We had this job done and dusted in just a few hours and bear in mind this is roughly 50 foot of steel ranging from 8 to 10 mil in thickness, so it's not light work. If we were to do it all again but this time using a disc cutter, I genuinely dread to think how long the job would have taken and how many discs we would have gotten through. At the end of the day, we got it all cut and piled up in a short amount of time and got home in time for dinner. Jobs are good un'.